everyone, Travis here from Travis.media. Today, I'm gonna give you a little hack to help you always remember how to do Python list comprehensions. And if you're like, what's a list comprehension? I'll go over that too. And I learned this little hack or memorization from Angela Yu's course on Udemy, the 100 days of code, Python, 100 projects in 100 days course. If you don't have this course, what are you even doing with your life? Why have you taken all these other courses and not this one? It is an absolutely superb course. I took it a while back. I memorized this technique she gives on how to remember these and I'm going to pass it on to you. And I'll put a link below to the course. And if you click on it, it's like 150 bucks. Then check out my Udemy coupons page. I now have a Udemy coupons page at travis.media slash Udemy, where I keep an up-to-date list on the running monthly deals for Udemy. I'll put a link for that below as well. So let's get started. And actually, before we get started, if you find these videos helpful, these short conceptual videos, let me know below and I'll try to put out more of these during the week. So what is a Python list comprehension? Well, it's a shorthand syntax when you want to create a new list from the values of another list. So a lot of times you have a list and you want to manipulate the values somehow. So you create a for loop and you loop through it and then you manipulate each one. Well, a Python list comprehension allows you to do that in a shorter syntax. So let's check an example. Let's say I have a list called numbers. And in it, I have like one, three, five, seven, nine. Now, what if I want to loop through this? And this is simple. We're going to get to a better example in a minute, but just to explain what it does. What if I want to loop through this and multiply each number by two? So I would start out by creating an empty new list called double numbers and an empty list. And then I could do a for loop for num and numbers and double numbers dot append num times two. And I could run this uh, Python main.py and of course I need to print double numbers. Let me run this and we get the doubled numbers, a new list of the doubled numbers. Well, there's a shorter way to do this for loop, especially if we had a condition to it where we're like, if num is greater than three only, then append the number. We could do that in just one shorthand syntax with Python list comprehensions. So let's get rid of all this and let me show you how to do it. So here's the hack. Here's the magic formula that you should memorize. You should write it on a piece of paper, tape it on your wall, tape it beside your desk until you memorize it. And it's this, new list equals, and we have these list brackets, and there are three parts here. New item, for item, in list. This is what you need to write down. So this whole thing, write it on a piece of paper, tape it to your wall until you memorize it. And there's three parts here. So there's the new item, the item in the list. So new item is the item with the calculation on it. This is gonna be your calculation. Second, there's item, which can be anything. This is gonna be your iterator, like for num in numbers. The num is gonna represent your item. And then the list is gonna be the list that you wanna iterate through. So look how easy this is. And let me comment this out. So we're gonna loop through this and multiply each number by two. Let's do uh, double numbers equals, start with their brackets, and we'll grab this formula. And let's do the list first. So the list, of course, is numbers. That's our list. We're looping through this list. Next is going to be our iterator. That's going to be item. That can be any word. We're going to change it to num. And then the new item is going to be our calculation. So for new item, we're going to put num times two. And that's it. There's three parts. You just fill in each part from right to left. So now let's print double numbers and see that it works. Boom. Now, what if you want to do a condition? What if you want to add a condition to this? Well, the formula turns from this into this. So new item, for item, in list, if condition. So now you have four parts. You have the list, you have the item, the iterator, you have the calculation, but this calculation only happens if a condition is met, like num is greater than three. So enough with this silly example. Let's look at a real example using a data set. So let's take all this, comment it out. Let's do something different. So here's a CSV of the data from the 2022 Stack Overflow developer survey. You can get this on Kaggle. I'll put a link below, it's a free download, but it's like 78,000 rows. So I deleted everything but the first 100. What we're gonna do here, let's say we're gonna take this data. There is a column called years code. And this is how many years the developer that went through this survey has coded. So I've coded for five years. I've been a developer for 10 years. I've been a developer for 15. Here's all the years. So you have 14 years, eight years, one year, six years, 37 years. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all these ages and find all of the people with under five years of coding experience. So we're just gonna call them junior developers. And we'll see how that condition list comprehension works. So we're gonna use pandas. Pandas is super easy to get data with. So 
So import pandas as pd. And then we'll define a data frame. So df equals pd.read CSV. And then the location and name of our file, which is survey results public updated CSV. That's what I called it. Go to that link, download it. You can do the same thing. So we're going to read the CSV, save it in this data frame variable, df. Then let's create a variable uh, years code list equals df data frame. And then our column is years code. And we want to drop any null values. We just want, don't want to deal with that. So you can do that with drop in a. And let's see what that looks like. Print uh, years code list. Let's run it and see what happens. No module named pandas. Let's pip install it. Pip install pandas. All right, let's try to run it now. And here we go. So our first two rows are in a, and we're dropping null values, so that's good. So we got 14, 20, 8, 15, 3, and then we jump ahead to the last few rows, 6, 7. So we got our data. And instead of this data frame, let's make this whole thing a list. So list, just wrap the whole thing and print it out again and see if we got a list. And here's our list. So we have a list of all of the years coded and you see that they're in string format, which we'll fix in a minute. But you'll see this one value here that says more than 50 years. Now we could do something to make this 50 or 50 plus, or we can handle it different ways. I'm just gonna remove it. And I'm gonna do that with the list comprehension. Instead of looping through these values and saying value equals more than 50 years, don't push it to the new list. We're just gonna do that with a list comprehension. So let's get rid of this print statement and let's call it years code list cleaned because we're like cleaning this up. Not a data science guy, so don't comment saying this guy, I don't know what he's doing. Of course, I don't know what I'm doing, but this is clean to me. So let's remove this value. So let's grab our formula, new item for item and list. Actually, we're gonna do an if statement. So let's grab this formula, paste it here. All right, here again, it's four values. So let's start with our list. Our list is gonna be the year's code list. That's what we're looping through. And then each value as we loop through it or our iterator is gonna be this. We'll just change it to year. And then for our new item, we don't wanna perform a calculation on this. We just want to add the item to this new list if it's not equal to that more than 50, which we'll get to in the condition. So here we just wanna do year. We're gonna place that item in the new list. And then the condition is gonna be if year is not equal to this more than 50 years value. So this is gonna create a new list of all the same things without that value. So let's print it and see what happens. Print years code list cleaned. And there it is without our value, the same list. So instead of having to do a for loop and take up five or six rows of our code, we can do it all in one line. Now the last step is to create a list of all the values under five years. So let's call this junior developers. Junior developer count, let's do that because we're gonna list how many of these there is. And let's do a list comprehension again. Grab our formula. And why don't you try it? Pause this, try it out for yourself. I think you can do it. All right, hopefully that was easy for you. If not, work through it with me. So list is gonna be years code list cleaned. That's what we're looping through. Item, just an iterator, let's put year. New item, again, we're not doing a calculation. We're just adding that value to the new list. So we'll put year. And then the condition is going to be if year is less than five. Save it. Let's try it out. Print junior developer count, save it and run it. Then we get an error. Type error, less than is not supported between instances of string and int. Now, if you look at this list up here, these numbers are all strings. You can't say if a string is less than an integer, that doesn't work in Python. So how do you think we fix this? We need to convert these values to integers. And we don't wanna iterate through the list again to do this. You can actually do it in this list comprehension. See if you can figure it out. All right, hopefully you got that. If not, if you think about it, we're looping through the year's code list this is our iterator, and this is gonna be our calculation. We're just entering the same value. But instead of entering that same value as a string, let's cast it into an int. And that's it. And to test that out, let's just do a print on years code list cleaned. Comment this out. And let's see if they're all now integers. Yes, we don't have that little string symbol 
wrapping each one. So now let's try our junior developer count. Save it, run it. And this is confusing because we have two print statements. So let's comment this first one out so that doesn't print. Let's run it again. And there's our list, three, one, four, two, one, everything under five. So these are gonna be our junior developers, but we want a junior developer count. How do we get that? Well, let's wrap the list in this length function. This is a built-in Python function, and we'll get the length of those values. So save and run it, and we have 17 developers out of these 100 that are junior developers by error definition. Junior developer is subjective, really, but all developers under five years, we're considering them junior, and we have 17. And that's list comprehensions. So if you're ever doing a for loop and you wanna shorten that syntax into a list comprehension, just remember this formula. New list equals new item for item in list. New item for item in list. And then if you want a conditional, just add the if condition to the end of it. And one final thing before everybody yells at me, there are better ways to do this, of course. You could probably do it all by combining list comprehensions with Lambda functions, but I don't wanna get into that in this video. If you wanna see Lambda functions explained in another video or how they work with list comprehensions, let me know below. I'll be happy to do that. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing it, and I'll see you in the next video.